morning or this morning we are hanging out in Glendale. The city has a lot of hidden gems that you may not know about. Tess and Javier are the lucky ones. They're exploring historic Saguaro Ranch and I think chasing peacocks even. Good morning. And Tess, this is what they call a kitchen in the 1800s and it still applies here in 2017. I know, how to, I know how to use one, thank you very much. But how neat is this, guys? This is the ranch house, the original main house built in 1891. And so many of the things inside that you find here are original, which is really rare to see. Yeah, when you talk about originality, check out this, the phone. They must have been a lot taller way back in the 1800s. No, no, you're just short. You're still the <laughs> same size. Is that what it is? <laughs> Come on over. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this is one of the original buildings, one of many original buildings here at the Saguaro Ranch. Just quite the treat, quite the gem here in Glendale. Yeah, this morning, Councilman Brian Turner is joining us, uh, Councilman Bart Turner is joining us to talk a little bit about this. You were on the Historical um, Preservation Committee, so you know all about this beauty. Well, I remember some of what I used to know a lot of, <laughs> but uh, this is a wonderful home here. It's, uh, it was built in the 1890s. It started just as a small office for the superintendent, but over the years, it grew and became the main house uh, for the family here on the ranch. So it's grown in square footage from probably 120 square feet to wow. start with to almost 4,000 square feet now. How are you able to keep it intact still? Well, the families uh, did a great job of preserving it even though they adapted it from one family to the next. But there's really only been three families that own this property, this whole property, before the city bought it in 1977. And, and really neat to look at the, the background of this. In the 18, I think it was 1885, the Arizona Canal was completed. So water was now available to this part. And that's when everyone started coming out west. And they said, hey, let's build a ranch. Let's grow fruit. Let's bring out livestock here to Glendale, what is now Glendale. Absolutely. So the Arizona Canal, as you said, was absolutely key, being able to get water into the area. Mm -hmm. And then to prove up on their, quote, homestead claim, they had to build a, build a dwelling. They had to plant crops and they had to bring water to the land. So they, they brought a ditch from the Arizona Canal over, they built the adobe house next door in the 1880s, and they planted crops. And that allowed them to uh, get the title to the property. And then they started building houses and fruit packing sheds in the barnyard area. This was a dairy farm as well as uh, citrus, cotton. Um, they ran cattle on this property as well. So those are three of the five C's of Arizona Love right it. here on this one property. You know, I know you guys offer tours. Yes. Are you amazed that people don't even know this is kind of like a hidden gem right in the middle of a city? You know, I've been out here for 40 years, you know, tooling around on the property and water and, you know, when I was younger, water and trees and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard for me to believe that every week I run into somebody that says, oh, I was just out at Suara Ranch Park. I didn't know it was there. I have to be honest, I've never been here. I've driven by and I've always wondered. I'm like, I've seen the gates out front. They're very noticeable right on 59th Avenue. And then you see it and you're like, wow, this is yeah. so amazing, especially to walk through it. Mm -hmm. We just had all the tour information. So on the screen, make sure you come out here and do this. Great history lesson for the kids too. History indeed and just gorgeous. The property is with the peacocks walking around. You got citrus trees. You got a lot of roses. And Absolutely. We have great events out here. We have our tractor show coming up, our Arts Council art show. We have the uh, Folk and Heritage Festival coming. There's this uh, fall and spring is a big time for our events out here for the public to come and experience this whole ranch and especially the ranch houses. Well, I am definitely going to bring the kids out here. I think they'd be ne kids they would find this so place. neat to see all the old mm -hmm. artifacts because they always say, were you born before there were cars, Mommy? <laughs> not quite, but, but not quite. What's, well, your, this, answer? Uh, What's uh, your answer? This ranch was born before cars. <laughs> yes, when all of was. this was started, there were no cars. Everything oh, was horse-drawn wagons. Um, eventually, the railroad came through, so it shortened the transportation for fruit and everything else across the country. But uh, we have a, a building back here that's a four-car uh, garage now that is also um, public space. That, uh, that wasn't built until the 20s. So it wasn't until the 1920s. The ranch had been in operation for 40 years. Isn't that amazing? We're going to continue uh, just picking your brain here <laughs> behind <laughs> the scenes. What a pleasure. Thank hey, you very much. Thanks for coming to Glendale. Oh, we love it. It is a field trip Friday showing you the best that Arizona has to offer. It's right here in our own backyards in the valley, guys. Check out Glendale.